Hello, I'm Suddenly Gaming, and welcome back to me playing some Dyson Sphere program. In the last episode, I made a 90 de degree angle on this hub, uh, of which I'm planning to make basically every component in this game. And there we go. Also made Strange Matter, which we will need in this episode, I think. Uh, as you can see here, I've been continuing on the work. Uh, I put in the uh, level 2 assembly machines right here. They are gathering up nicely. You know what, might as well just put in some more. Uh, what that means, we can now go around this hub. Whenever there's a bit of a bottleneck, we can put in an upgraded assembly machine, which will hurry things up if there's not a lack of items. So this thing can get uh, quicker, faster, make stuff more efficiently. Efficiently? Is that a word? Maybe it is. Uh, solar panels are in. The fractinators are in, which is a good thing. Because this episode we're going to be using the fractinators like crazy. Uh, we are going to get rid of the hydrogen bite products that we have on this planet. Oh yeah, I have to turn on this very soon. We're going to be... Getting rid of the hydrogen byproduct that a few of these processes, processes, processes on this planet are creating. For example, here we are just storing them in tanks. Let's uh, actually put in a couple extra tanks here. Oh yeah, we can't go higher. Well, then let's not. Maybe research the. Uh, can we research this? Yes, we can. I'm gonna queue this one up. Mechanical frame. Yeah, we're gonna queue this one up as well. And where is that uh, vertical construction storage? I think, yeah, this is the storage thing. So we're gonna put that one in two, just because we can. Uh, we're just grinding through the uh, yellow science right now. We don't have a very quick uh, setup. That comes later. All right now, we just need the science to be done. Gravitational lens, that's gonna be a whole other ball game. Then we can go to a other si another system and make the setup that we in the end want to use. This is probably just gonna be uh, for, well, this hub to produce all the components, fly them out to wherever we are. I'm also pretty tempted to make this thing all over again somewhere else, but that's gonna be later because I stupidly built it towards the pole, so that's why I had to turn it 90 degrees. And then there is, of course, the orbital collector, which need the um, the power uh, transfer thingy, the battery building, what's it called? Uh, uh, here it is, it's called the accumulator. And I have to be quite honest, I have never used these accumulators, I didn't use them in my last run of this game. I quite simply didn't quite understand how they worked. So we're gonna have a look at that when the time comes. We do need 20 of these for every gas uh, giant collecting uh, unit thing. So that's a lot. We're gonna have to put it over here, we do need them. Uh, the other things we need, we do have, right? We have the particle colliders, we have the super magnetic rings, and we have the reinforced thrusters. All of those things are here. Thrusters are right next to this one, actually. And, uh, okay, so we do need the accumulators. How we're gonna do this, because we're gonna have to get these out, or get the things in. It's gonna be a mess, isn't it? Well, we have them right here. These are being produced very slowly, but... Uh, yeah. Let's just uh, have a look around, see what the holdup is. Uh, and then upgrade the assembly machines that needs upgrading. And here's our problem. We are basically run out of iron wings here. We have some more over here, but... Those are not going to last either, so what we need to do is to collect iron uh, somewhere else and fly it in. So I'm guessing that's going to be the next project because uh, things were running really slow. These belts should be full and, well, 
we're gonna put in some more of these as well I guess but they can basically keep up or they could until quite recently so for now we're just gonna set up a station here fly in the iron okay let's go do that these are basically the last two iron veins I can use on this planet so this will now provide the iron for the foreseeable future we put up a uh, little station here these are lovely little stations and now we're just gonna send the iron over to the iron melting area keep melting it keep making stuff that's how we roll uh i think also we have where's iron there you are supply yeah that's correct we have a pretty good supply of energy right now so we're just gonna power this thing as well and throw in as many drones as we want. We want this iron to flow quickly. And then uh, where's our little hub? Here we are, go away. Okay, so we got the warp. We got the warp. We can warp now, but that comes later. First, where am I? I, I was exactly where I needed to be. Okay, we're just gonna tear down these things. Like so. Bye bye. And then we actually have to pave over. Uh, dismantle, that's the wrong button. Let's see, there's a Waynesbury. That's not it. That's it. Okay. And then we just put up a station here. Ah, this is the button like so we will demand we will demand iron and then we put in these guys maybe also actually oops wrong button actually charge it and this should get the iron flowing uh, it's not flowing why is it not flowing it should flow right what, what's going on here Oh yeah, oh yeah, not iron bars, iron ore, that changed everything. Okay, let me just fix this, and demand the ore, I demand the ore, If is this quick enough, that is the question, will this be able to keep up with the demand, we are gonna find out. Uh, that's a pretty pointless thing to do. Let's just do it like this. Uh, okay. You can delete with a grid. Of course you can. Oh, I removed. I removed. I removed. I removed the iron supply for the magnets. They do need iron. How are we going to solve that? Uh, little problem let me have a think we are basically just gonna grab them out of here like this this thing is struggling to charge quick enough or is it actually uh, it's getting just enough juice every time I think yeah it looks okay I'm gonna think it's gonna work the iron is flowing the question is, do we need to put on more of these? Probably, but we're gonna do it later. Now I noticed that some of these have not been upgraded. That's a big uh, bottleneck in the system again. We're gonna make this as efficient as possible. I mean, we're never gonna run out of this stuff, but down in the end here, these things suddenly we have a project we want to use a hundred maybe not a hundred planetary logistics systems but we do need the uh, orbital collectors and we need those in huge quantities which means we want a lot of these I'm actually just gonna go like this because we're gonna turn them into orbital collectors I mean I don't know how many goes around a gas giant probably a hundred so maybe again this is too much stop it there 
Uh, we do ma need many though. And we want this whole thing to run as efficiently as possible in order to get those orbital collectors out in the end here. Okay, I had conveniently built these uh, logistics stations and gathered up all of the excess hydrogen in the last episode, I think, which is, uh, which is nice. And what we want to do is we wanted to fly it. Well, actually, we just want to fly it over here. Uh, we might as well just collect it here. Oh, yeah. And also, when you go to the planet view, you can zoom very far in. So I don't think you could do that before. This is very convenient when you're looking for stuff. Uh, anyway. Okay. So, we're just going to use this station here. Gather up our hydrogen. I'm just going to fly it out. Oh, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Look at this little angle. What if I try the... Yeah, okay. I like that better. Now let's continue on here. So... What we are going to need is a lot of landfilling. We're gonna need a bunch of the fractinators. And that's about it. So let's go get it. How are we on fractinators? Let's see here. Um, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'm just gonna bring everyone. Why not? Okay, did I put in landfill? I did pit put in landfill. How much is there here? Okay, is this gonna be enough? Let's just assume it is and have it make more for later. One day we're gonna want to fill in a whole planet. We're gonna kick ourselves for not making more. Okay, I'm just gonna fill in the land here. I have this weird design idea that I want to try out. I have absolutely no idea if it's a good idea, and I'm using the word idea a lot. Uh, I just want to, I just want to do it because I think it's gonna look cool, and I've never built anything around a pole like this because the fractinators they ba you basically just pass the hydrogen through it, and then out of I think one of out of a hundred is turned into uh, deuterium. And the rest just continues on, so you want to put everything in a loop. So if you just build the deuterium in a circle, I mean, you can just put them uh, down like this, like normally, have it go back. But I want a circle. Why not? Just for fun. Okay, there's some more uh, iron here, but yeah, whatever. We are going to want a planetary logis logistics station in the middle here. Oh, that's a... Uh, oh yeah, that's a... <laughs> neat little artifact of the grid. We're gonna want to put it in, right in the middle. This is where we want to pick up the... deuterium. After it's been made. Send it off to wherever we want to use deuterium oh no out of out of conveyor belts and we're gonna need a whole bunch of those i'm just gonna bring like what 300 oh this these stack differently now well that's new that was the last update okay so you can stack the conveyor belts in stacks of 300 instead of 200 okay and then we Keep it on the second level and use the same... Oh, this one, that wasn't the equator. Oh, the line just keeps on going. Okay, no problem. Uh, where are we going to make the first one? I think right here. Here we go. And then we're just going to put this in a big ring. Wait, 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 wait. If I remember correctly... You can't just pop this on top. No, you can't. That means you have to build uh, these first and then connect them. What am I doing? Jesus. And then we want the hydrogen, no, the uh, deuterium to come out on the 
inside, right? Yeah, that's what we want. I'm just gonna build this as close as we can. Yes, yes, thank you. Where is that gonna work? Yeah, apparently it is. How we built these two unnecessarily far away from each other? Why am I tearing them down before I check? Let's see here. Yeah, actually we did. Wait, wait, wait. Can we? There have been a mo there have been updates and everything. Let's see here. Can I just drag this? It's gonna make. It's gonna make the gap. You know what? I'm just gonna do it anyway. These could these could be closer. Ah, I want. Yeah, I want them as close as possible. If I build this in a circle now, connect it up, and it turns out it doesn't work, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, so let's think for a second here, because if we want to make another ring outside, we're gonna have to collect the high, uh, deuterium on the inside and then get it through here. So, yeah, then we just put in one of these, right? Like this. To get it up to the. Yeah, I think this is gonna be. Fine. Famous last words. Okay, let's make the circle inside. Actually, you know what? We do like this, of course. Yeah, that pleases my aesthetic instincts. I like that. Okay. Can we actually get it out? Yes, we could. Oh, it doesn't look good at all. These are going to be all over the place, but who cares? I like the look of this setup. I mean, it's pointless to build it like this, but it's fun and it looks nice. Oh, that is satisfying. Look at it go. We are making deuterium like nobody's business. I mean, we're going to collect it from the gas giant later, but still, this is fun. Uh, and we're getting rid of the hydrogen. We're just turning into deuterium. I think there's a one-to-one -one conversion ratio, which just takes a while. Because you only convert one out of a hundred at a time. But, uh, so, we are really just making... Uh, the deuterium instead of hydrogen and then having the same storage problem but uh yeah i still like the idea and if we need to expand this we just make another ring maybe one closer would look nice as well i kind of want to do that maybe later okay i'm really happy with this in the next episode we're going to start making the deuterium fuel rods those are great for fuel uh, maybe set up a few of the power plants if we did research the technology and did we mini fusion power plant yes which create a lot of electricity so this planet should be set with electricity for a while that's for next episode though this one is done click the like button subscribe do whatever you want i've been suddenly gaming this is goodbye <laughs>